the Calder Cup. Listen to this crowd, it's wonderful. American League, National League, whenever you do something like this, it's a thrill, and the fans appreciating their team. Twenty-five seconds left. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in the 62-year history of the American Hockey League, the Calder Cup comes to Philadelphia. There's Bill Barber, and of course, Bob Clark and Paul Holmgren and Terry Murray and Frank Baselli and assistant coach Mike Feathers. Chairman of the board, Ed Snyder, all of them. And this crowd has just gone berserk. Nobody going for the, the subway or the parking lot. And St. John at the left, a beaten club, but I tell you, they, they played tough, hard-nosed hockey. And it was not an easy victory, although the Flanders did it in six and won easily tonight. They played hard, they rubbed it in your nose, and they did everything that Bill Stewart wanted, but the Flanders were the better team. And you're getting to see one of those two wonderful moments of a team going through a whole season and accomplishing it to the top of the mountain. There ain't nothing like winning. No. And as you can see there, oh man. At center ice, the St. John Flames are awaiting the ceremonial shaking of the hands. And the and first now, in line is Bill Stewart. Bill Stewart, classy guy. Done a great job with his St. John Flames team. As now, after the celebration, here comes the Philadelphia Phantoms to shake hands with the St. John Flames. That's a great tradition. Oh, nothing like it. And Bill nothing Stewart, like it in sport. Bill Stewart's a winner. Well, Steve, I just thought that I've broadcast three championships, two Stanley Cup and one Calder Cup, and Bill Barber's been a part of all three. Done a great job with this team. Done a great job. And Bill Barber hugging. Mike Stuthers. But much credit to that St. John team. And this is, uh, Steve, uh, there's no tradition in sports better than this. They beat hell out of one another for six games, and now they say, well done. Well, you've got to understand that both teams worked hard to get to where they were and let the better team win. And that's what's happened here with the Philadelphia Phantoms. And the St. John Flames respect that. Bill Barber at the end of the line. Uh, give me an MVP. Is there a question? Well, I think there's a yeah, there's a couple of guys you got to look at. Montgomery, of course, you got to look at Manilek. But I just think the guy that came to stop the puck every night has to, to get the nod because me a little has just been fabulous. Especially when you look at you've been outshot in every game. Nobody's gone home, not a soul. Why would you? Now Bill Barber shaking hands. And there was uh, Wiesenberg and uh, Rocky Thompson to get a little hug. And there's another little one there. They whispered one another's ear. That was McDonald who played so hard. And now Clark Will. There's uh, O'Brien along with Boucher, uh, the goaltender. Cherish it, my friends. It comes along so rarely. And Mike Stuthers blowing kisses to the crowd. And this is not the end of it. We still have the presentation of the Calder Cup. Well, I got the hats already. <laughs> I got the tags flying. They don't care. Look at Wiesenberg, Montgomery. They're just having a ball right now. And you know, we thought you win it wherever you can, but you look back now, it was appropriate and fitting that it should end here with this crowd setting an attendance record. Now they've got the two trophies out there, the MVP and the Calder. There's Bruce Coles, who got it going tonight, too, with a breakaway goal, make it two to nothing. I'm sure going out on the ice now is Dave Andrews, the president of American Hockey. He's got to be thrilled, first of all, by the series and by the crowd and the attendance on television.
they just announced that they're going to present the Calder Cup, Dave Andrews, to the captain, John Stevens. Well, he's waited a long time through a lot of teams and a lot of leagues. Well, he's already won two cups with Springfield and Hershey, so everything happens in threes. We don't have the PA feed, so Dave Andrews is making that presentation now, the president of the American League. And again, the last time the finals were played by a Philadelphia team was 1939 by the Ramblers. So it's been 60 years since they were in the finals. This is the closest they ever came. And the first time the Calder Cup comes to Philadelphia, it really didn't have far to move, just an hour and a half from Hershey. Worked out very nicely, I would say. Mike Maniluk is the MVP of the Mike playoffs. Mike Maniluk. Well, we mentioned Mac Montgomery Maniluk and Neil Little. And Mike Maniluk ends up as the leading scorer. 14 goals and 20 assists for 34 points. You think he might be wearing a different uniform next fall? Well, you got to give him a look, Gene. Yep. You got to give him a look when you get that kind of offense. Especially at this time of year, when you come to play even more at this time of year, you deserve a look. And now John Stevens will get the Calder Cup. Boy, that's got a great history. Frank Calder, who was the first president of the National Hockey League and is primarily responsible to bringing hockey to places like Chicago and Detroit. And there he's getting, look at that. You know, you talk about the camaraderie of this club. <laughs> they got their championship hats on and they didn't take yeah, off the, I just the, the, the tags. Yeah, as I mentioned, they got the tags going there and everything. <laughs> 60 second time, the Calder Cup. John Stevens. And he well, wants Peter White with him. And Jamie hey, Hewitt. Hewitt. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Sean McCosh and uh, yeah. Peter White. Now the place will go bonkers when they take the skate. There it is. Look at this crowd. There hasn't yeah. been one person leave this building. There ain't nothing like it. I'm going to repeat myself. Doesn't matter what level it is. There's so many stories. Jimmy Montgomery coming back from Europe, having three hat tricks in the playoffs, and getting five game-winning goals. Mike Maniluk, a gift from uh, the Worcester Ice Cats to lead the playoffs in scoring. And Neil Little coming into his own and playing brilliantly throughout the year. Well, the crowd's certainly responding to this championship Calder Cup team. Jamie Hewitt passing it now. That's Paul Healy, who, who caught the goal late in the game. Oh. <laughs> Frank Darby, who had a great year, all-star. 42 goals, 45 assists for 87 points. He'll pass it on to Mike Mantle, like the most valuable player in the playoffs. Another guy that you could see in a different uniform, Jeff Blank. Sean O'Brien, out of Princeton. Oh, he goes back a little bit, turns the tide, goes back the other way, Gene. Players are reaching over the tall glass because they're big and getting the high fives. There's the big guy, Peter White. Brian Wiesenberg hands it off to Brian Boucher, who had a heck of a third period the other yes. night. If you don't remember, Frank the Animal by Lewis in the crowd. He was the fans' choice this year. Look at that. <laughs> he is lost. He had been to a seventh game before, but lost. And he said, not this time. I know one place I'm not going now. The dressing room. Absolutely. <laughs> Dangerous down there now. You know why? They got a sauna in there and a, and a jacuzzi. You could wind <laughs> up in that jacuzzi, Steve. <laughs> well, we're glad you're sharing with us at a late hour on Comcast Sportsnet. We're happy to bring you a rare, rare occasion, a championship play by a home team. They did it. They won it in six. They were the best team in the league all year, and they proved it in the playoffs. And now they're doing the ring around the rosy at center ice. <laughs> well, let them enjoy it. We're so glad that you're with us. Gene Hart, along with Steve Coates, it's been our pleasure to bring you about 20 or more Phantom games, including those in the playoffs, and our last two at St. John's this week.